Hey, what's up, friend? This is Arun, and welcome in my channel of Arun's Creation. So today I will teach you how to get more and more detail in the image. So this is the image you can see. Uh, this is the image after editing, and this is my original image. So a big difference is there. So let's see how to get this type of work with Photoshop CC. So firstly take your image in the Photoshop and uh, first up is the real secret of this type of work. It is mandatory that uh, there should be a no hard light in the image. You can see this image has been clicked under very flat light so it is very mandatory. So firstly make a new copy by pressing Ctrl J. So I want to flat the image, I want to flat highlights, I want to flat shadows. In the image so what you can do go to filter then we have this camera row I got so many queries for a camera row also so with the time I will teach you everything okay I want to flat the image firstly I don't want any contrast in the image so what I will do I will recover highlights in the sky you can see okay now I can recover the highlights and here are the shadows Shadows means black pixels. Now the image is more flat. Now it is overexposed. Now I want to control the complete value of this. Now you can see. With these three sliders, I recovered a lot before and after. Okay, now I want to remove this orange shade. From the skin always keep in mind that in the skin we always got orange color so in the color palette you can reduce the saturation for this orange color now you can see before and after this is looking nice okay so this is the setting I want in the camera row. now click on okay now you can see before and after what I will do uh, there is a grain in the image if I zoom it now you can see a grain in the image now again press ctrl J I want to make a new copy now go to filter there is a grain in the image I want to remove the grain uh, with a very special filter image now make noise wear now you can see this is before and this is after and exact all these settings I want now click on OK now the gray has been removed <clears throat> again make a copy go to filter image now make sorry Nick software now color effects there is a very special filter called uh, mm, you can see detail extractor click on this detail extractor then you can pop the details of the image so how much value you want it depend on you now you can see how can I recover all the details in the image it's looking so nice now see that before and after a huge difference is there in between the images so go to this adjustment layer then um, I want this curve tone go to this blue tone I want some this type of shade in the image okay this is fine before and after okay now again press ctrl shift alt e and uh, I want to make it black and white. I will teach you a very special, very unique way of, uh, you know, uh, dodge and burn. So make it black and white firstly. Sorry, image adjustment. Then I want to desaturate it. And go to filter. Then uh, I want to make it blur. Then goes in blur. I think this is the value I want and uh, go to filter then mix software then color effects and 
high contrast and detail I want. Now unmark this layer, select this layer and set its blending mode to overlay. A great magic is there. Okay, now this is before and this is after. So many, so many details are there. So what I will do, I will reduce the opacity or you can reduce the fill also. Okay, now before and after. Uh, make a mask and press Ctrl I. I want to invert the mask and choose your very smooth brush. Okay, before brush smooth brush I want and apply it here now you can see a very nice dodge and burn I am getting this is the easiest way to dodge and burn your image okay here I want very less value of this control Z Now you can see before and after, before and after. You can adjust the opacity of fill also. This is before and this is after. Even I can apply a level to this. So you can see before and after just with few clicks and tricks I got it now one more thing I will do I'll go to this adjustment here then gradient map I want and set its blending mode to soft light I want to reduce the opacity okay now before and after before and after go to this uh, then level I want I want very more now I want to put a vignetting around this go to level and decrease the value it's like this mask and apply a selection here Now double click on this mask and apply a feather to it. Now you can reduce the opacity. Now before and after, before and after. So you can see uh, this is my original image and uh, this is the image after adding to it. So I hope you will enjoy this video how to get details in the image. Thank you friends, keep watching Arun's creation.